Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I tested Network Chuck's cloud browser so you don't have to. Let's get into the technical details of what this is. And first of all, if I sound a bit hoarse, I'm sorry. I'm still a bit sick, but that's not to the point. So what is this browser? Basically, he touts it, Network Chuck, that is, as the ultimate tool for threat research, open source intelligent collections or accessing high risk links, keeping your online activities private and your devices safe from malware. That's freaking awesome. If you want to give it a shot, there's a demo available on the site. It gives you a few minutes with the browser. If you want to test it, all you have to do is you have to make a simple account. That's it. Now, what is this? What are the features of this and how does it technically work? You might be wondering. Well, first of all, if you wonder how it's technically working, Chuck has done us a favor. He has done us a solid, friends, and he has given us a full guide on how to install this ourselves. So we don't even have to pay for the service if we don't want to. Freaking awesome. Thank you very much, Chuck. But what is this server? So if we go a little bit back here, we can see that we have a instance of a docker container being spun up and it's basically being streamed directly to your desktop the big advantage there is that it's anonymizing you're not being you're not being fingerprinted because it's an empty docker container it is ip geolocation services uh, location anonymity services i should say it isolates you from malware because if it isn't running on your own system then so be it let there be malware you're going to destroy that browser anyway and that whole docker container for that matter also privacy is touted as one of the big advantages here and of course this is a great advantage that it does get destroyed the moment after you want it to and of course you have those quick launch browser plugins which you can right click any link in your Google Chrome or Firefox and you can click open this in the cloud browser. So that's the basics of it. We have those Chrome and Firefox extensions and we can see that a basic $7 a month is going to give us 150 hours of runtime. So this isn't for your day to day browsing activities. Of course not. That was never the intention. There's two cores, four gigabytes of RAM for your container. You have 30 minutes of idle timeout, no persistence, and you have these browsers available. Brave, Chrome, Chromium, Edge, Firefox Store, and Vivaldi. You also have global endpoints across the US, Germany, India, and Brazil. So is this browser worth your time? It really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing normal day-to-day -day browsing, of course, this isn't really the browser for you. And if you really want to do this yourself, you can set it up yourself for free. Well, for free, of course, it's going to cost you the cost of a VPS, but you can set this up yourself. So there it's no harm in trying there's a free three minute demo on the website i'm going to link that below and i'm also going to link chuck's um, video as well i say give it a shot just see if you can use it see if this is something you would find useful for example if you're doing malware investigations this might be something very useful or just sketchy website investigations or if you're somebody who really needs to avoid being fingerprinted for some reason, well, then these are your options. But for your average day-to-day -day browsing usage, that $7 a month isn't going to cover it for $150. For some, at least. It depends. <laughs> it depends, of course. For some, they might not spend 150 hours a month. Some might. It depends. Um, I'm sure you can also contact Chuck and once again you can set up your own server if you have to plus it's only seven dollars a month so it's not going to break bank but it's a great service in my opinion. I hope that helped you make your decision a bit. I want to thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye amazing hackers.